Hello, everybody. No, 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 no. Today, we're going to be mega modding Whiterun. Let's get right into it. Because I hate long intro. Today, I'm going to give you the best possible build that I could find for Whiterun. And I'm going to be doing it with less lag, less crash, and extreme immersion. All right, so first thing I want to point out is the walls and everything like that. So we're going to work from the outside of the city to the inside of the city. So let's get into it. Now, believe it or not, this actually is only accomplished by a few mods, and you can see how good it looks. The first one I want to talk about is Whiterun City Limits. Whiterun City Limits is responsible for everything you see out here, outside the outskirts of the city of Whiterun. Whiterun City Outskirts will add walls and towers to the outskirts of Whiterun. And this is also parable with some of the forest mods that you can find right outside of Whiterun, just as long as it doesn't cover any of the area that's actually on the outskirts of Whiterun. But if you add a forest right over there, which is Whiterun City Borealis is a good example, you could actually add that mod as well. So this is going to be the first mod that you add on your load order. Now I might get some heat for this, but it's actually a really good uh, mod pair, hear me out. The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that I am actually mixing two mods that have no correlation to each other. And those mods are Fortified White Run and Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul. Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul actually does something a little bit different to Fortified White Run. These mods work perfectly together. Now a lot of people are immediately going to say, well they're both mods that change the walls, aren't they? So wouldn't they conflict? The answer is no. They actually don't conflict because Whiterun's fantasy overhaul actually does the inskirts of the city. The outskirts of the city is fortified Whiterun. Hello there. Take a look at this site. Would you be able to tell that there's actually four mods at play here? Probably not. So let me just break it down for you real quick. The most inconspicuous one that I have right here is better city entrances. Better city entrances is way better than a lot of the other detail mods because it doesn't overstep its boundaries. There, you can see, that is all the mod will do, and it does that for every other hold. The next thing I want to talk about is Fortified White Run. Fortified White Run is responsible for all of this area right here. Its responsibility is to upgrade the wall and make it look like it's actually a really defendable wall at that. On top of that, it's on the very outskirt of the city, right by the entrance. Next we have Julia's Dirt Replacer, which is a mod that I have talked about a lot, so I don't want to get too far into it, but what that mod does is it retextures the ground to make it look more appealing. Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul is responsible for overhauling most of the walls in uh, Skyrim for all the cities. Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul, which is responsible for the inside of the city to make the walls look 10 times more immersive. These mods may be different from each other, but they all work perfectly together. Now the reason that, since we're focusing on Whiterun, that all three of these mods work together is because they actually are right just outside of what areas they affect. So let me show you. A lot of people are immediately going to say things like, wait a minute, these are two wall mods, don't they conflict with each other? No, they do not, because guess what? Right there you can see the fortified wire run ends, and right behind it you can see Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul begin. So what that actually does is it, it kind of relieves all responsibility from one another, which is actually why it works so perfectly. Here's another example, you could see Fortified White Run ends right there, and Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul begins right here. So, you can actually see how well these mods work together when you actually look at it, and it honestly just looks so, so amazing. Pair that with White Run City Limits, and you got something that looks like this. Pair it with Fortified White Run and Skyrim Fantasy Overhaul, and you get something that looks like this. This is a perfect mod combination, and now we can head inside. And don't worry, I'm going to be showing you guys a the load order, the way that this is supposed to look in the load order to avoid all crashes and have as minimal lag as possible. If you were impressed with the outside, well, let me tell you. Take a look at it on the inside. This is where Skyrim's fantasy overhaul really begins to shine. 
This is where it really begins to take your breath away. Oh, 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 you see? It looks very nice. Very nice. Yeah? And don't even get me started. Come over here. Take a look at all this stuff. This is just an overall amazing mod. Perfect for a, a big, big, important capital city. I always thought Y-Run looked a little bit underwhelming as the pride and heart of Skyrim, like the middle. You would think that this place would be a lot bigger. So that's exactly what this mod does. And the best part about all of this is that it leaves you with the ability and the opportunity to actually mod the inside of Whiterun as well. I have brown Whiterun because personally that is my favorite Whiterun mod for textures. And then we have Vagolt's Tree Mod, which will add a bunch of different trees in specific spots. And it isn't overbearing, so it doesn't cause any lag as well. You can see the best example right over here, right by the, uh... The fuck is their name again? Oh yeah, Companions. You can see the best example over here. The best part about this is that it is actually allowing you to mod the inside of Whiterun as well as the outside. You still have a lot to work with here. So, the mods that are compatible with this build are as follows. Whiterun City of Life, JK Skyrim, if you get rid of the tree mod, this also works with Imperial Agents Magical Whiterun as well. So this actually is such a good build and this is very flexible as well. So that my friend is how you advanced in modding Whiterun. Any of the texture mods that you prefer such as Brown Whiterun, Green Whiterun, Blue Whiterun, and a Skyrim Texture Overhaul, this all works perfectly with this build. For weather and ambience, 13 Tagama Infinium and Azurite Weathers are also a very good choice to have while this is installed. You could also have uh, a Heart of Azeroth is another really good one that you could use with this build. No strings attached. Julia's Dirt Replacer, Julia's Dungeon Pack, and Julia's Farmhouse Texture Pack goes really well with some of the stuff outside. As well as Sky Better Roads and Bridges, which is another really good mod. But I would rather save that mod for a, uh, a better, uh, a world overhaul. But I also use this mod as well because it fixes the bridges, it fixes the roads, and it shows you the economic importance of each of the nine holds. Uh, the one in Iverstead is a perfect example, and the one in Riverwood is also a perfect example. So adding this as well is very, very good because this will also fix some of the bridges on the outside. Quick, simple, easy, and advanced. Enjoy your new white run. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you all.